Welcome back. It's time for another edition of Living Akamai with Engel and Volkers. That's right. Kay Mukaigawa is in the Living 808 Lounge with a special guest. Kay? So thanks for joining us, Kendrick. I wanted to ask, do I need flood insurance if I already have a homeowner's and hurricane policy in place? Yes, that's one of the biggest misconceptions in the industry. So to put it clearly, you need to have a separate flood insurance policy or endorsement to have that coverage because a homeowner policy or hurricane policy will not cover for that exposure. So let's say my kitchen sink leaks, floors get flooded, everything gets messed up, flooring and all. Is it covered by my homeowner's policy? Well, that sounds more like it might be a homeowner claim rather than a flood event that we're talking about. So it's best to look at the definition of what a flood is according to FEMA. So think about a large amount of water that's on the ground and this water is now entering into your home. And it doesn't matter what the source is from where this water came from, as long as the water has inundated at least two acres or two or more properties, and one of which is your property. And all of this has happened suddenly and unexpectedly, very quickly over a matter of time. So if you meet that description, you probably have a flood event on your hands. So in the definition, it does state that it's surface water from any source. So another misconception is people think that flood insurance only covers when a tsunami hits, which it does, but there are other sources that can cause a flood event, such as hurricanes, you know, it brings a lot of rain. They could be overflow from rivers, lakes, streams. In Hawaii, we get a lot of flash flooding occurrences. On the mainland, they may see runoff from melting snow or even a broken water main can cause flooding, again, as long as it meets the definition of affecting you and another property. So speaking of FEMA, I heard there was a big change in the rates lately. Can you share a little bit more on that? Yes, so FEMA has recently undergone a major change with its uh, rating methodology on how they calculate FUD rates for everyone in the United States. This is the first time that they've undergone such a major change with how they calculate rates since the 70s. FEMA is calling it risk rating 2.0 equity in action. Now there's several reasons why you know the government wanted to make the change. One of the main reasons is well the government loses billions of dollars every year in flood insurance claims. So they needed a way to properly rate a risk so that the program can remain financially stable. Uh, secondly, one of FEMA's main goals is they want to make flood insurance fair and transparent for everyone. So how do these new FEMA rates affect us policyholders in sure. Hawaii? Sure. Well, according to FEMA, there are approximately 61,400 flood policies in the state of Hawaii. Wow. So as the chart shows, there's about 13% of policyholders that will see an immediate decrease in rates. On the other side, there's about 9% that will see a much greater increase, uh, roughly 10 to $20 per month or higher increase on average. And then the vast majority, about 78% of policyholders, will see a modest increase, anywhere from a few dollars to about $10 a month on average increase. So will this change affect the mandatory requirements by mortgage lenders? No, so the flood rate maps are staying the same. So if you live in a special flood hazard area, those are flood zones that start with the letter A or letter V, mm -hmm. so A is in Apple or V is in Victor, then, and you have a government-backed mortgage, then you will be required to maintain a flood policy throughout the life of your loan. So are there any other options other than FEMA for flood insurance? I'm glad you asked. So yes, the private flood insurance is available in the market today and their policies are acceptable by mortgage companies. Now, that's not to say that private flood insurance will always be less in rate than FEMA's policies. Sometimes they are, sometimes they're more, and sometimes they're about the same. But the good news is, with private flood insurance, there's several advantages that they can provide that FEMA doesn't. So we'd like to thank Kendrick Nishiguchi with Liberty Mutual for joining us today and explaining the importance of flood insurance and how it protects us. For more information or to get a hold of Kendrick, give us a call at 808-725-2000. And as always, let Engel and Volkers Honolulu simplify your life.